The year is 2017. It's a normal day for the average citizen. Nothing out of the ordinary seems to be happening. Important world leaders such as Donald Trump, Vladimir Putin, and Xi Jinping are on the routine schedules. They're absolutely unaware of the foreign creatures that will unleash their wrath onto the Earth. The time is 1 p.m. The Splitzer Space Telescope picks up a reading from within our solar system. NASA employees are immediately called and notified about the mysteriously large object hurtling towards Earth. The man working at the desk at that time realizes the severity that an asteroid impact would have on the Earth, especially of that size. He decides to tell his superior officer about it and thinks it will be best in his hands. The officer tells the employee to put him on the secure line. If one piece of information about the asteroid got out to the general population, the entire world would erupt in chaos. Once secured, the officer calls the U.S. Department of Defense. The call is immediately prioritized, and he manages to get through to the Secretary of Defense. He is in utter shock at the size of the asteroid and requests that action be taken immediately. In just five minutes, Donald Trump, the current president of the United States, is called in from his meeting in Beijing. He is informed of the situation and is asked for his permission to go ahead with Operation Star Wars. Operation Star Wars is a codename given to the American Asteroid Defense System. This system attempts to eliminate debris flying towards Earth using lasers, hence the name Star Wars. The technology is very new and prone to errors that may crash the system. But with little time left, permission is given by the president. A satellite somewhere orbiting the Earth shoots a laser beam at the asteroid. After about one minute, the asteroid appeared to be hit, but they lost connection to the satellite, so they cannot confirm. The time is 3.33 p.m. It's in five minutes since the asteroid has been hit, and the president is still waiting for a response. The information from the Hubble telescope finally comes in, and NASA employees scramble to decipher it. What appears on their screens doesn't seem to make sense. The object is still flying towards Earth, and it appears to deflect the laser beam. New photos emerged with more reliable information of the asteroid, and how it turned out to be something much different than they could have ever imagined. While aboard Air Force One, the president himself is put on the phone with NASA. He is notified about the discovery, and demands an emergency meeting with the United Nations. Assisted by two escort fighters, Air Force One lands in Berlin, where the UN Council has decided to meet. Donald Trump, Vladimir Putin, Boris Johnson, and 134 other national leaders all sit around the council, ready to discuss this pressing topic. Russia proposes to send a hydrogen bomb of the UFO. In fact, they plan to send the largest thermonuclear bomb ever created. The name of the superbomb is the Tarzar Bomba, and Russian government officials say that the UFO will send no chance. Now wanting Russia to get all the glory, the USA proposes to send their two most powerful nuclear weapons, these two being the MK and B-23, with a combined power of over 50 megatons of TNT. The decision is made, and just by a slim margin, gets approved for go-ahead. If just two countries voted differently, the entire plan would be a failure. Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin both simultaneously give the command for takeoff. The nukes get set off from an unknown missile silo in Siberia and Nevada. They go flying into the air with the fate of humanity in their hands. Hey guys, so I just finished editing this video, and, um, it was supposed to come out a few days ago, um, I actually had previously recorded the end narration, but, um, I just want to put this in here, because, uh, there was just a slight error, <laughs> kind of my fault, but, uh, yeah, we, we figured it out, um, and it's all good, so, uh, part two, uh, if you want part two, just leave a like on this video, and I hope to have it out probably sometime by next week at latest. So, yeah, just leave a like. I would say three likes, I'll make part two. I'm not aiming for too high, just three likes, make part two. So, yeah, that's about it. I don't want to make this video too long. And, yeah, um, peace out, guys.